As pre president and CEO of the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, I'm honored to represent the largest Hispanic organization in the United States. At the USACC, we advocate on behalf of nearly 3 million Hispanic-owned businesses in this country that run the gamut. Men, women, every subgroup, every geography, every business model you could possibly imagine. We also advocate on behalf of our 123 corporate partners, and we do this proudly through a network of 200 local chambers throughout this country, chambers like the one right here in Long Beach. Together, we share a commitment to advancing the economic and financial interests of small business owners throughout this country, their communities, and by definition, all of America. Because while we're Hispanic-owned businesses, we never lose sight of the fact that first and foremost, we are American businesses. Our mission, simply stated, is to help our businesses grow, to put more Latinos in corporate boardrooms, to ensure decision makers at all levels consider the Hispanic business community, and to improve opportunities in both federal and corporate procurement. Our business owners, please know that we are committed to leveraging our presence on Capitol Hill for all of you. It's going to take all of us working together to get out of this difficult economic situation, but clearly we're doing our part. Over the past year also, I've had the opportunity to travel to over 50 chambers from Miami to Fresno, Tulsa to Chicago, San Antonio to Providence, Greenville to Columbus, New York City, and dozens in between. In speaking with our clients, what has become very clear, our nation continues to face unprecedented economic challenges that require equally bold innovation and courage. The fact is, the fact is that small business is the very backbone of this country's economy. Small business represents 64% of all jobs in our country, and Hispanic small business is the fastest growing segment of American entry. Latino entrepreneurs are opening businesses three times faster than the general population. And over the last five years, despite the struggling economy, Hispanic business grew by over 114%. At the USNCC, we work with the administration, the Senate, Congress, and anybody else will work with us to ensure that the position of American small business community resonates loudly on issues from access to capital, to immigration, to financial services, to insurance and health care reform. That is why, at the USACC, we are doing our part to help our business owners with the issues affecting them most. And let me give you a few examples. We advocated for passage of the jobs bill, and with the help of our network, we submitted over 122 letters from chambers throughout this country to the Senate to urge for the passage of that bill. Also, our efforts helped pass the Small Business Lending Fund Bill, which provides $30 billion, but not to the big banks, who we love, but this $30 billion went to the small community banks, because those small community banks are specifically aimed at servicing the entrepreneurs in the very communities where the need is the greatest. And I remain cognizant of one thing, that none of this would be possible without the kind and generous support of our corporate sponsors, who support us not only at the national level, but I'm so happy and thankful that continue to support us at the local level. So to all of you who have supported Sandy and our local chambers in California, please know that what you do for our chambers here, you do for us in Washington, D.C. And we in Washington are here to serve you. So I'd like to thank again, and I'm probably not going to get everybody, but I want to make sure. I'd like to thank Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, State Farm, Visa, Southern California Edison, BNSF Railroad, and the kind folks at Cordoba. The kind of support that you offer us here is illustrative of what it's going to take for us as a nation to move forward. We couldn't do this without you, and we depend on you and support that you in 1990 to over a trillion dollars today, and it's growing every day. This is unprecedented growth that no one could have predicted. In fact, prediction, prediction after prediction, projection after projection, year after year after year, 
has got it wrong. The Latino community has always outperformed every prediction that's been made. And I know, I've studied it for many years. Today, one in every six people living in America is of Hispanic descent. So I like to tell folks, if you're not related to a Hispanic, give us about 15 minutes. <laughs> we'll, be there just, we'll be there shortly. In the last decade alone, Latinos represented over 52% of the growth of this nation's population. Imagine where we would be as a country. Imagine where we would be as a country without the Latino population. And the Hispanic community is projected to continue growing. So our voices and our contributions will carry even more weight in the years to come. This is not about civil rights. This is not about doing what's right or what's wrong. This is about being smart. This is about recognizing the talent and the value of a growing population that is all too willing to do our part to help our nation. There's no doubt our Hispanic business community is at the forefront, helping our country weather the economic turmoil. We are taking risks and starting new ventures. We are providing jobs and creating an economic tax base. We are not the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the solution, and we are a true American success story. We're not waiting for others to point the way. We are blazing our own trail for our communities. Know that everything that you do as a chamber leader, as a business owner, as an educator, is for the benefit of all of us. All of America and every American benefits from your work. Every deal you close, every sale you make, every product you manufacture, every service you provide, and every consumer or customer that you serve should make me very proud. You should know that you make me very proud. I am honored and humbled to be your servant. Congratulations again on what you have accomplished and what you continue to do every day for your families, your communities, and our country. Felicidades y muchas gracias.